Good morning, guys. Today we are going to be detailing a vehicle and pretty much is like an hour and 15 minutes away from me. But this is a referral from my brother, Wilber Ralda, from Ralda's Car Wash in Guatemala. So pretty much since it's a referral, I'm gonna take care. So the guy, he went to Guatemala and pretty much uh, he went to, you know, the detail shop that we got over there. And he went with my brother. My brother pretty much helped him out to take care of his vehicle. And now I just gotta go over there and take care of that vehicle, which is a, not the same one, but obviously. I gotta take care of it. When I come back, I will be taking care of this one. So this is a AMR mobile car wash and detailing. We're gonna be taking care of this one, which this setup is built by somebody in California. Uh, pretty much what the frame is built from I don't know, I forgot the name. It's not H2O, it's a different company. But uh, what I'm gonna be doing is, I already built the extension core box, you know, for this generator, which is uh, this type. Um, so am I gonna fix this? Because as you guys can see, this is going straight like that, which is, it's okay to kind of, you know, start or whatever, but I just prefer to go like some sort of nice and neat. So anyways, the frame was built for from someone in California. The plumbing, Pressure Works did the plumbing here in Richmond, Virginia. And pretty much I am gonna be uh, starting the generator, shut him out the core from the Chrysler since it's way too long connecting this installing the electrical box maybe setting up this thing somewhere over here uh, connecting the air compressor and stuff like that just make it functional because at this point this thing uh, still gotta check the oil put gas it's a brand new looks like looks like a nice 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 generator to be honest this thing looks good so yeah that's exactly what we're gonna be doing so let's do it <laughs> all right guys so we got julian with us uh was i thought i was gonna do this by myself but julian i contact him to see how he was doing and the good thing is that <laughs> he don't got any jobs today so he's gonna help me out so that's a good thing because this is like an hour and 20 minutes an hour and 20 minutes to get to this location and good thing I can do it faster with Julian and so I can come back and do the setup you know so all right thank you Julian for helping me out yep all right let's go
All right, guys, so we are about to start. And first thing I gotta do is pick up some sparks at Home Depot. I'm gonna go and get a plug for that right there and get some other things uh, to kind of get started. Um, yeah, or I might just leave that for the last moment and let's get started. Let's start this generator. <clears throat> wow, I can do it with one hand, guys. <laughs> one second. There you go. So, let's got the generator going, Krenzla going. I already tested out. And the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to shirt them out the Krenzla core since we got a little bit extra <laughs> and um, we're gonna do a 90 on this area here to kind of remove this ugly loop from it and what else I already got that one there uh, secure the air compressor connected set the extension core box and that should be it pretty simple so I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna show you how it's gonna look at the end. Let's go. all right so the Krenzla is already out uh, we're gonna secure the Krenzla because it was with some zip ties over these so then we're gonna put uh, some good supports on it and like I said the cord is being short mount there was a lot of cord <laughs> so yeah uh, that's where we at right now Secure the Kresla, bring the cores nice and neat, stuff like that. The box is already in place. We set it up right there, that way he got access to, if he wants to pretty much install or connect any other extension cord, because this one here, 14 gauge, it's not good in case he's gonna be doing the like hot water carpet extractor or the steamer with this one here. I uh, do not recommend that. 14 gauge is too small, so you might gonna have to replace this in the future. So I got one that is 14 gauge, but the only for the only thing that I use mine is to run my polisher or stuff like that, or maybe the extractor, but I got the Vesel, Vesel extractor. So that one there doesn't pull much current, you know? So, yep. Uh, let's try to finish this thing let's do it all right guys so we are done with this one here it's all good we removed this set this uh elbow for this the way it's not gonna be the big loop over here so it looks way better we as you guys saw we pretty much heard them out the core of the Krenzla. uh he's gonna maybe replace this right here which I'm going to Home Depot as well. <laughs> and I'm gonna pick up some straps for this and straps for the air compressor up there. We installed the little plug right there as well. We got the remote controls, that right there in place. One little quick connect for the foam cannon, fire extinguisher. Um, this one is up running as well. Got the slide out.
the little loop for the, you know. Like that. Yeah, we always gotta leave a little loop for the 24 inches that this thing slide out. So yeah, looking good. Uh, the customer is gonna pick it up today and he's gonna be able to work now. Now, tomorrow I have another guy coming, another customer coming to pick up this one here. I still gotta do some touch-ups here and there. It's been outside for a good time, <laughs> over a month or so. So, but yeah, this one here is done. Uh, this is pretty much a nice, nice setup. This is made for a Ford Transit Connect and that's the way it looks. We're gonna be setting up this thing. Oops, <laughs> I almost dropped my tripod. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna be putting all this back in there and see how it goes. So I'm gonna keep you guys updated with this one as well. Stay tuned because this thing is gonna look amazing. And this one here, I don't have to do much. All I gotta do is slide this thing in there and as well as some, um, what is it called? Which is gonna set the reel for the pressure washer generator. Uh, we're gonna set the pressure washer water tank and that's it. He's gonna do the rest on his own while he pretty much keeps going, you know? But this is a good setup, guys, uh, uh, because what I like about this type of setups now is that if you ever want to switch your bang, all you gotta do is just slide this thing out, get a new bang, and set this thing in there. So it's a good one right there. So, all right, stay tuned, guys. I'm gonna give this to the customer, and I will get back with you guys, I guess, in the next video. This is gonna be it right here. So like, share, subscribe. I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.